Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to place components into an assembly. Let's start by creating a new assembly. We're on the Get Started tab. Let's click the New icon. And we need the assembly file type. That's the extension .iam. Note our active project selected here, assembly.ipj. Let's click OK. One way to place components into your assembly is to simply drag and drop them from Windows Explorer. I'll shift select them and drag them in. And here are our components in the graphic area. Each item also appears in the browser tree as well. Let's shift select the components, right click and delete. We can also place components using the place command on the component panel. I'm going to select the base. Here's a preview on the left. Let's click Open. Now when I move the mouse, a second instance is available. Let's right-click and select Done. Now let's place a second component. Let's select Cylinder number 1. And here's our preview. Let's click Open. We'll place it right about here. Left-click again to place a second instance. Right-click and Done to exit the Place function. Take a look at how they're labeled in the browser to indicate the relationship. Cylinder 1 first instance and Cylinder 1 second instance. Let's right-click and delete the second instance. Again, let's click on the Place command. And let's drag select a number of components at a time. Let's say these five components. Let's click Open. And click in the graphic area. Right-click and Done to exit the Place function. Now we're ready to arrange these components. I'm able to move all of the components in my graphic area except the blue base that I inserted first. Let me drag it around and try and move it. The grounded symbol appears in the graphic area next to the cursor. When a component's grounded, a pin appears in its icon in the browser also. Let's right-click and unselect Grounded. Now I'm able to move the base freely also. We can ground another element easily. Let's right-click on the cylinder and select Grounded. Now Cylinder 1 is stationary. In other words, Cylinder 1 has got zero degrees of freedom. Let's ground the base again. We'll select the base in the browser tree. Right-click and select Grounded. Right-click on Cylinder 1 and unselect Grounded. And this concludes our lesson on placing components in your assembly.